Hey guys, Fazello here. So, 2017 was quite the year for smartphones. We saw the Essential Phone, the iPhone 10, the Galaxy S8, and basically every single company in the business has been making phones that have had shrinking bezels. And 2018 looks like that trend's going to continue on as we're seeing the S9 and hopefully we're going to see phones in the future that are going to keep that trend going like maybe the iPhone 10s, the SE2, the Note 9. But in this video, I just wanted to take some time to discuss what phones I think are going to be the best in 2018. Now, these are all based on rumors. I don't know if any of these phones are coming out, but I'm going to talk about the main phones that I think are going to be a big seller for a lot of people. So starting off, we have the rumors for the iPhone SE 2. Now, if you don't know what the iPhone SE is, it stands for Special Edition, and it was basically Apple's budget phone. So it was it started at four hundred dollars and it came out in twenty sixteen, and it was basically it had the design of the iPhone five S, and it was tiny. It had a four inch screen, but the rumors for the iPhone SE two say that the new one is going to have the notch, like the iPhone ten. You've seen the notch where it's like everything's just screen except for a tiny little portion which is the front facing camera and that's what the rumor says that apple's doing with the iphone se2 now personally i don't believe too much in this rumor i love the iphone se but i don't think that the iphone se2 is going to have a notch and here's why the iphone se is meant to be a budget phone and the notch is supposed to be like a premium feature that's on the iphone 10 so I'm kind of worried that if Apple were to put that on their phone, they would just cannibalize themselves. So it doesn't really make sense for them to add a notch to the SE2. Do I think they're making an SE2? Absolutely. There's a s absolutely space for budget phones, and I think Apple can move into that market. I just don't think it's going to have the notch. So moving on, we have the iPhone XS. Now, rumors have come out that apparently Apple is considering discontinuing the iPhone X before the successor comes out. Uh, apparently, as the rumor goes, in, su in the summertime of this year, Apple is going to discontinue and stop making the iPhone 10, and they're going to sell all their stock, and then they're going to come out with the iPhone 10s or the iPhone 11, basically just the iPhone 10 that's slightly bigger. And that's all we really know about this. Now, do I think that this rumor is true? Probably. Apple has done this before where they release a product and then they discontinue it right before the next one comes out. It's, they've done that with their MacBooks or iPhones. It's not something new. But I think that what Apple's going to do is they're going to make an iPhone XS and it's going to just be a little bit bigger and it's going to be slightly cheaper because I think everyone's main problem with the iPhone X was that it's $1,000, which is not cheap by any means. So if Apple were to lower the price of that, they would probably help them that audience out by providing a product that would be cheaper. I'm hoping around $800, but to be honest, I kind of doubt that because Apple's more on the premium side of phones, so I have no idea. But I personally think that the iPhone XS is coming out this year, and it's going to be a slightly bigger iPhone X. Alright, so next on the list is the Galaxy Note 9. Now, personally, I think that this is definitely going to be a phone we're going to see this year. There's always been a Note, so... Obviously, when the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is going to be just the S9 with some more features, like maybe a pen support, and it's going to be maybe slightly slimmer. I have no idea, but personally, I think that this is this is definitely going to be a thing this year. But rumor has it that the Note 9 is actually going to have the fingerprint sensor under the screen, and I wanted to add that in because that's a very interesting thing to add into a phone. Now. This is not some fantasy feature. Phones have had this technology where you will have like a little uh, fingerprint sensor under the screen and an LED. And that way the fingerprint sensor can track your fingerprint through the screen. And it's really interesting technology. And I think the Note 9 could have that. Now, I don't know if the Note 9 will actually have that. Personally, I think that it will. But I have no idea because I don't work at Samsung and I have no idea what they're doing. But the Note 9 seems to be like a product that would have a feature like that. Alright, so if we keep going, we have the Essential Phone 2. Now, when the Essential Phone first came out last year, a lot of people hated it. And I don't really blame them. It launched at $700. It had a mixture of bad reviews for a camera. 
and overall the phone received a lot of terrible reviews and hopefully i mean essential has fixed the phone they've released bugs or um, they i mean they released patches to fix all the bugs in the camera to make the camera more usable and they dropped the price down to like 449 but i still think that hopefully essential will release the new phone the new essential phone this year because i feel like the essential phone is a good phone but I feel like that it got off on the wrong foot. So if Essential releases a new Essential phone with new tech and it's maybe has slimmer bezels, then perhaps we could get a better version of the Essential phone one, except this time it just wouldn't start off on the wrong foot. So next on the list is the OnePlus 6T. Now, the OnePlus 5T was a great phone because it mixed everything you could want in a 2017 phone into one phone and it costed $500. So, I personally think what Essential is going to do is you're going to keep up their current pattern where they release the OnePlus 6, and that one does not have... it. The, the OnePlus 6 will probably be just like the OnePlus 5 where it has bezels, but the OnePlus 6T would be bezel-less. And that's what I think they're, Essential is going to do, just like what they did with the OnePlus 5. Now, my only concern is that I'm worried Essential is going to drive away from the headphone jack because that's been a feature that's been removed from a lot of phones recently. I hope they keep it, but they might remove it. Another thing for the OnePlus 6T is that rumors are spreading that apparently the phone's going to have a notch, just like the iPhone 10, just like the, um, what's it called, Asus Zenfone 5, where they have the notch and everything else is screen, and that's apparently what OnePlus is going to do. Now, if that's true, um, that might be interesting, but I didn't, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a notch lover. If I was a notch lover, I'd probably get the Zenfone 5, but I think I prefer the whole S8 style where it's got just very, um, very like thin bezels at the top. So it wouldn't be a deal breaker to me, but I would just prefer the thin bezels. So next on the list is the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. Now, Personally, I think that the original Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL were great products. I know that the screen on the uh, 2 XL was pretty bad, but I've tried it in person, and to be honest, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't the best thing, but it wasn't the worst screen I've ever seen. But still, I do love the Pixel 2 XL because, you know what, I know it's expensive, I know the screen is pretty, you know, mediocre, but it's still a good phone. But I think what Google is going to try to do with the Pixel 3 is they're going to try and refine the phone to the point where it's so good that compared to the competition, you wouldn't want to pick up anything else. So, because the whole point of picking up a Pixel product mainly, at least to me anyways, is that it's made by the people who made Android. So you're instantly getting the, like, the best support for Android. You're getting all the new features as soon as they come out. You're getting the new software update literally the day they come out. It's all worth it for me just because Android is like Android made a phone. And that's why I th I've been interested in Pixel products. Now, my only concern is that the Pixel 3 XL, I'm worried what Google's going to do is they're going to take some of, their, some of the problems with the Pixel 2 are going to transfer over to the Pixel 3. Like the screen being mediocre, I think that Google is going to try and refine the screen. But I think what what I'm mostly worried about is that I feel like the price is going to be high again. Now, I think that the price on the original Pixel 2, um, the Pixel 2 XL, I mean to say, wasn't terrible. But I feel like the Pixel 3 XL could be a lot lower if and it could attract more people if the price was lower. Something else I want to add is that the rumors for the Pixel 3 XL is that the phone's going to have a notch, just like the iPhone 10. And like I said, I'm not a I'm not a notch hater, but I'm also not a notch lover. So personally, I don't really like the notch, but still it's not a deal breaker to me. I would just prefer the slimmer bezels. So those are my thoughts on these possible phones that could come out in 2018, but I really would appreciate it if you left your thoughts on this in the comments. And of course, if you do want to support my channel, then you can like the video and you can subscribe to be notified of when I upload a new video. But of course, that's always up to you. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and see you.